What up homies, uh, welcome to your 33rd tutorial and as you notice I'm back to the basics app and I'm not doing the map um, Google's maps on this on this tutorial so it's just gonna be kinda jumping around between the two um, some Google Maps stuff and then some of this basic stuff again as you can see I already changed my background you don't need to do that but um, basically what we're gonna be doing today is something pretty cool we're gonna get into a little bit of graphics here so as you see scroll down and what what is that thing that is our new custom button and as you can see that's my poor rendition of a cloud and when you click it it has a lightning storm and if I release it's it'll go to a new activity so obviously you want to set up your button 5 to you know open a new intent you guys should be able to do that and also set up a new Java file uh, called tutorial 5 or whatever you want to want to do um, also you're gonna have to have three images for this I would recommend GIMP because it's pimp uh, and it's free and it's awesome because you can use transparencies and that's what you're gonna need for some sweet buttons but uh, yeah, you can download that it's G I M P, and then you can you know design whatever. Um, it's a little bit better than paint, uh, a lot better. But um, yeah, so you're gonna need three images, and then save that into your drawable folder. I have cloud one, two, and three, and you're probably wondering. I only saw two two like you know cloud images, the actual standard cloud that's there, and then when you click it it turns into that you know lightning cloud or whatever so where's where's the third one the third one is when you use the up and down arrows as you can see it kinda highlights what button you're on um, and if you go to this uh, this is basically the same as it being highlighted and this is my third cloud image um, so that's basically what this tutorial is going to do is just set up this button um, and I just had it open in a new activity that or you know I set the content view to something I already had uh, we're gonna change that later and I also set the, land, the orientation to landscape so you, you might want to do that um, doesn't really matter but make sure you have your three images in here that you want to work with and for the size of my button as you can see it's kinda small I set it for 250 pixels long by 150 pixels high so if you want to do something along those lines awesome if not you know that's cool too just experiment because that's half the fun alright so now we're going to actually figure out how how to do that um, how to set that custom button up just for you know those three different images and what we need to do is we need to set up an XML file within our drawable which is kind of a hassle because if we just right click within our drawable and we say new other Android XML file you'd say oh man I'm looking for you know a drawable folder but they don't really have a drawable folder in there so we're gonna have to set up our own so I'm just gonna call it custom button dot XML and you know I'm just gonna say it doesn't really matter because we're going to change that later so I'm going to say layout and hit finish and it didn't appear in our drawable sadly but it should have appeared in our layouts that's what it should have appeared in but uh, maybe oh it's right here alright so we're going to just what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this into our drawable folder same one that you have all your pictures in. I'm just going to delete that folder that it made. Okay, and now we're going to go in and change, basically gut the fish right now. So we're going to hit a uh, custom button, go into the XML, and just kind of, well, we're going to keep some of this stuff. But uh, basically what we're going to do is not a linear layout. This is going to be something called a selector. And they probably won't, I'm not sure if it'll give you a choice for selector. Probably won't give you a choice, but once we clean the project, it will work. So just trust me on this. So just keep it pretty. We're going to have it like this. 
and then we're going to have our selector at the very bottom and we can get rid of that stuff so that's how we're going to set it up at first again you have your you know, version and encoding and then we have like I said the selector and that opening reference and then what are we going to have within our selector well basically it's just going to be items so uh, I don't know if it will give us items either probably not because you know we kind of messed with what this file is supposed to be but it, we're going to set put an item and then android and uh, we can do okay looks like I'm going to have to type in everything which is going to be crappy but android state press equals uh, true okay so what is this saying well when it's pressed or when when it's pressed down equals true we want to set our now we want to set our draw uh, man the format is just terrible I'm sorry guys android uh, drawable equal to um, at drawable forward slash uh, forward slash cloud two I think it was okay so basically um, yeah we can end it like that that's fine but basically uh, now what we're doing is saying when the but the button state is pressed set to true it's going to change the drawable of you know our button to cloud 2 for me or whatever you want your button press to be then we need to set up three different variations of this item I'm just going to copy and paste this right now and just kind of edit it so copy and paste and we don't want button uh, state pressed the other one we want is called state focused and this is uh, when it's highlighted like I said use the up and down on your phone uh, some people like to use that instead of the touch screen who knows why but we're just gonna roll with it so when it's set for state focused to equal true we want it to be um, cloud 3 for me again yours is going to be different however you'd like uh, to set up your images but all, all this last one is going to do is we don't even need the state this is just going to be what it is normally uh, just what the drawable of that item is going to be I'm going to have it be cloud one so we're going to save that and now we basically have uh, this resource set up for us and we can use this uh, whenever we want but it's still not going to do anything we're going to have to go back into our main XML where we hold all of our buttons for that uh, menu and we're going to go down to the fifth one and we're going to mess with this a little bit again this is button five I'm going to change this to graphics because we're going to start working with some graphics hopefully again I'm kind of unorganized so I'm just kind of jumping all over the place which I apologize for but the other thing we want to do is we want to have it wrap the content otherwise it's going to stretch our picture out and it might not look that great I made my picture pretty small so it should fit within the screen. So we're going to wrap the width and the height of the image so that's going to stick to the standard of the 250 by 150. Then we also want to add, um, add some other stuff to this. What, el what else do we want to add? Well we need to add the background and uh, what are we going to set that equal to? Well, we're going to set this equal to now um, the at drawable and then our custom button. And it's going to use that resource to figure out what state it's in and what you want the background to be. And if it's just going to be normal, it's going to set to that normal background that we set up in this custom button XML. So that's basically all you'll need to know. Um, maybe the other thing you want to do is Android. I'm going to do layout gravity to be centered so that button is in the center of the screen alright and save it make sure it works and I don't get any errors so 
We're gonna exit out of that real quick. All right. So let's just check and make sure this works. I'm gonna scroll down here, and it looks like it's yeah, it's got the basic drawable. We're gonna click on it, and it's gonna change. As well as we just have to check our highlighting, so we're just gonna hit the down arrow on the keyboard, and yeah, it changes again. So I hope you like that tutorial. Just kind of shows you how to set up a custom button. Um, see you guys later. Peace.